Sports King, here I come. Hello, sports fans, sports collectors, and all hobbyists. Uh, welcome to the Car King Sports and Variety Show. I am your host, the Catman, Brian Cataquit, a.k.a. the Car King. We are live on ABC's KMET 1490 AM.com, your number one spot right here for news and talk on the West Coast. I thank everyone for tuning in this morning. Now, we are awaiting a call from a guest I have scheduled. We'll see if he calls in. If not, uh, let me just uh, begin talking talking about uh, the Philly show, which I just got back and I attended uh, yesterday. And I got to tell you, they do a fabulous job over there in Oaks, Pennsylvania at the Expo Center. It's the Philly, uh, Philadelphia Sports Expo show. And I want to thank Christy over there for welcoming, uh, you know, the Card King, letting me in uh, to the event. A fabulous uh, event yesterday. It was a three-day uh, weekend show, Friday, Saturday, today, Sunday, the last day. And they had uh, tons of autograph guests uh, that were on hand uh, uh, yesterday and today, and I got to tell you, if you like vintage uh, sports cards and vintage uh, memorabilia, I would say out of all the uh, sports memorabilia conventions here on the East Coast, this is definitely uh, number one on my book. Uh, also on the landing page, if you want to learn more about the uh, Philly uh, Sports Convention and their future uh, events that are going to happen, I believe in a couple of months they'll have another another one planned, uh, you can uh, click on for, for all those of you listening to the program today, you can uh, click on my uh, radio show landing page and scroll down, and you'll see the uh, logo for the uh, Philly show, which I had uh, I had uh, the station put up yesterday. And you can click on that uh, link, and it'll take you right to the uh, Philly uh, Sports Expo Center. You can see uh, their upcoming. Uh, uh, shows and I gotta tell you, if you like vintage uh, material, this is the show for it. Uh, I would say uh, probably I, I would I don't know if I had to guess probably about three hundred three hundred and fifty vendors dealers. Uh, a lot of new material. Uh, what I saw on hand yesterday, a lot of graded stuff. Of course, all the big auction firms are there uh, from uh, you know REA auctions to Golden auctions to Heritage auctions. All the big names in the industry set up at this convention. They were all there yesterday uh, displaying their uh, fabulous uh, assortment of memorabilia uh, for their upcoming auctions. And, and uh, I tell you, one of my best finds yesterday, I was able to, uh, and you can, you'll, you'll catch some of these uh, items that I picked up at the Philly show yesterday. You're going to catch uh, these items, which I'll be working on and listing them on eBay this week. Uh, starting tomorrow, but a couple of the uh, items I picked up, I picked up a, a, a pretty scarce 1909 to 1911, which is a tobacco card, and I, I did put it up yesterday. That's one of the items that I picked up at the show, and I was able to put that up uh, last night. I, I got in late last night. So this item is now up on eBay. It's a T206 uh, print era. Now, for those of you listening, a T206 is a tobacco card. They were inserted, inserted into tobacco packs back in 1909 through 1911. So this is a card of Ganzel of Rochester. That player's name is Ganzel, G-A-N-Z-E-L, of uh, the team Rochester back in 1909, circa 1910, 1911. This is a tobacco card. It has got his name printed on the bottom border of the card with an error showing his name also on the top border of the card. And you can see that uh, card which I picked up at the Philly show yesterday. It's up on my eBay page. Also, if you click on the radio show landing page, you can click on my eBay icon and uh, it takes you right to the items that I have listed. So you can catch that item which I just picked up on my eBay page. Uh, and also, I picked up a uh, beautiful collection of uh, early uh, 1953 uh, Topps baseball cards, uh, one of the most beautiful uh, cards ever produced, uh, v colorful drawings of these uh, fabulous vintage ball players. I picked uh, a group of up of those, which I'll be listing this uh, week. And uh, j it's, just, it's just a great show if you like you know, the old stuff. I would say it, it, there's a couple of big conventions here in the East Coast. Uh, you have the, um, there's a show in, that's held uh, every couple of months, I would say three months at the uh, Westchester County Center, which is also a good show, but not as good as this one. 
Philly show, hands down, is the best show on the East Coast. So make sure uh, you you click on the landing page, uh, my landing page, and click on the Philly show, and you know just uh, check out the uh, the future dates and make sure if you know if you like sports and you live on the East Coast, make sure you attend this event. They have uh, tons of uh, autograph guests on hand, like I like I mentioned. So you can also uh, you know uh, see if your favorite athlete will be signing at this uh, show and the the show website is phillyshow.com it's pretty simple phillyshow.com you can uh, click onto that and uh, take and read about the uh, program and the uh, and the event that's happening um, also you know Shohei Otani um, we all know his uh, popularity in the game is uh, is uh, equivalent to none i would say but you know a lot of Otani cards were really selling at the show yesterday. And I thought I'd go over some of the more elusive or the more popular Otani cards to invest in for those listening to the program and our collectors and our Otani fans. Some of these are uh, uh, the popular Otani cards that you want to invest in and you want to look for if you're attending these conventions, if you're looking online to uh, purchase Otani cards at auction, uh, we'll go over a list of some of the more popular Otani cards and uh, what some of the estimated price value are being offered for some of these cards. So we'll begin with the uh, Shohei Otani. There's a 2018 Bowman Chrome, and that's his baseball rookie. And this card, uh, you can catch this card of Otani. He's in his batting pose with his uh, right leg up. And this card, if you get it autographed, which is considered his rookie card, there's a price tag of about $14,000 for this card. So that's, that's how much this card sold for with a price tag of $14,000 at one point. So the 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball Rookie Card of Shohei Otani autograph. Uh, again, you go to these big shows, you may be able to catch one. Uh, you know, If you have the money to spend, I mean, this is something that's not, uh, you know, affordable to many people. But this is a card that, that I just want to uh, draw attention to as far as the popularity of his um, cards. So the 2018 Bowman Chrome is definitely one of the uh, more popular Otani cards to, uh, I don't know, to collect or to go after if you can afford it. Another one is the 2018 Topps Chrome. Again, these are his rookie cards. His rookie cards always uh, tend to sell at a higher dollar amount, but his 2018 Topps Chrome, the Sapphire Rookie, which is an orange color refractor, autograph card and one sold for about 25 grand it was graded a gem mint so that's another popular otani card to to know about and you know if you're if you're otani fan and you just want to learn about his more valuable cards the 2018 tops chrome sapphire rookie which is an considered an orange color type refractor with his autograph one sold for about 25 grand graded gem mint so that's another popular one another one is uh one sold for twenty one thousand three hundred dollars online it's a shohei otani 2018 bowman chrome rookie and this is a blue refractor this blue refractor card of otani has contains his autograph and there's about 150 of them made, and one sold for $21,300 uh, recently, and this was also a PSA 10. Again, these are high-grade gem mint cards, so the high-grade you know, high gem mint cards tend to sell for a big, big uh, dollar amount as you are listening to how much these prices are generating. So this uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Rookie Blue Refractor Autograph, Again, his rookie card, 150 of them made. Once PSA 10, which is the, which is the grading company, Gem Mint, sold for $21,300. Another uh, popular uh, Otani card for the Otani collectors listening right now are 2018 Topps Heritage uh, Shohei Otani Angels. It's a rookie card as well. as also has his autograph. Uh, one 
another Gem Mint PSA, which is the grading company Gem Mint sold for eleven thousand and one dollars. Eleven thousand one dollars online. Twenty eighteen tops Heritage Otani. His rookie as well also contains his autograph. One Gem Mint sold for eleven grand uh, recently. Another popular Otani is the Otani uh, 2017 Bowman Chrome, also which is considered his rookie, in, his rookie Mega Box Refractor. 2017-2018 Bowman Chrome Rookie Mega Box Refractor card of Otani. One sold for, this is more affordable than the other four I mentioned, one sold for seventeen hundred and twenty-five bucks. So one thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars for uh, you Otani uh, fans who are looking to invest in his cards or looking to purchase his cards. This is a twenty seventeen Bowman Chrome rookie mega box refractor, and this card uh, pictures Otani not with his autograph, which is uh, hence the lower dollar amount, which is $1,725, which one sold, compared to the other ones in the $11,000 to $25,000 range. So, uh, yeah, that's another Otani, a popular Otani card to uh, go after, to invest in, to look for at the flea markets, at card shows, at online auction um, websites, um, if you can... And I'm just giving you the price how much they sold for. So if you're able to buy it lesser than that, then, you know, you'll make a profit. Uh, another popular Otani card, this one also contains his autograph. This is another one that recently uh, sold. Uh, 2018 Tops Now is the series. 2018 Tops Now, Shohei Otani. This one has an autograph. And it's like a blue type version card. I believe 49 were produced. Uh, one sold... For two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars, this is a, and I'm, I'm going to mention the name again of this card. Twenty six hundred and fifty bucks, one sold. It's a twenty eighteen tops now Shohei Otani autograph, blue version. It was numbered seventeen. The card that sold was card number seventeen out of forty nine produced and this is actually a jersey number card and consider a rookie you know Otani's rookie 2017 2018 this one sold for twenty six hundred and fifty dollars also and this was not not graded at all so this was uh uh labeled tops now Otani 2650 for the uh 2018 tops now issue uh 2018 tops chrome a pitching refractor card and uh, for those of you listening that may not know what a refractor is a refract refractor is considered a card that has more like a uh a glossy type look to it uh you know it glows like in the if you if, if you put it towards light you'll see it, it'll refract it has like a glowing uh cool Type card, which is uh, considered very popular, what, what these uh, new generational collectors are going after. They like uh, new. From what I gather, what I see, the new generational collectors like the glossy type. Uh, you know, the chrome cards, the refractor cards that have a uh, beautiful eye appeal and a glossy appearance and glow in the dark and all that type of uh, uh, all that type of uh, different attributes on a card so that's what a refractor is if you if you hold the refractor to light you'll see it uh kind of double exposed it kind of looks appealing it's pretty cool that's why these cards sell for good money especially if they're high grade and graded in a in a uh, encapsulated in a professional uh card holder they tend to sell for a lot of money because of their eye appeal and their their popularity and looks and uh, that's what the, the, the new generational collectors go for. They go for, you know, uh, beautiful eye appeal on these cards. And some of these cards are gorgeous. These new modern cards are gorgeous. Topps does a wonderful job uh, in reinventing baseball cards in the modern age um, with, with all these shiny images and these cool-looking technological type of uh, cards that are being produced 
currently. So it's it, it, it's it's actually making the hobby very popular amongst youngsters getting involved. I can tell you that for sure. But anyway, 2018 Topps Chrome Pitching Refractor Shohei Otani rookie card, uh, one sold uh, for five. This is very affordable, five hundred and ninety-five dollars. So if you have like a budget in the five hundred to $800 range, and you want to invest in a popular Otani card, the 2018 Topps Chrome Pitching Refractor, number 150 Shohei Otani Rookie, one sold Gem Mint, also high grade, uh, the highest grade. PSA 10 is the grading company, sold for $595. Uh, that's an affordable one for those who have a budget of that want. A budget of five hundred to like a thousand to spend on a popular Otani card. I would say that one would be the one to go for. Twenty eighteen Topps Chrome Pritching Refractor card number one fifty. Another popular Otani card that recently sold online is an, another twenty eighteen Bowman Chrome. This one he uh, pictures Otani on the card. He's carrying his uh, his sports bag. Uh, that's the picture of Otani on the card, and it's card number one, which is also considered a rookie card, same year, 2018. Uh, one sold for $2,800, also graded uh, PSA 10, $2,800. Now, again, I have spoke about this before. Uh, best way to do this if you want to make money on these type of cards is to, to, to buy them ungraded, and then um, if they look really sharp, and in great condition, in your opinion, then you would uh, pay to get it graded and hope for the best, hope you get a high grade from the uh, card companies like PSA, SGC is another card company. Uh, those are the two top uh, grading card companies in our industry. PSA, SGC are the two top grading companies in our industry. They generate the most money, uh, in my opinion, from what I uh, gather and what I see and what I witness as far as cards being graded are concerned. So those are the two companies that you want to get your cards graded from uh, to generate high dollar uh, prices at auction or at a card show if, if you're a vendor. Uh, for those uh, listening to the program and our casual listeners of the program and, and not really collectors, but uh, just to explain, those are the two top uh, grading card companies that um, you want to get your cards encapsulated in. Uh, so a 2018 Bowman Chrome, which is another popular Otani, in this card, like I mentioned, carrying he's carrying his bag on his shoulder, once sold for $2,800. Uh, another popular Otani card that uh, recently sold online is the Shohei Otani uh, 2018 Topps Transcendent Rookie from Japan, and this one has his uh, autograph card. And this is uh, this is a rare one because there was only three. From what I see here, there's only three made. Uh, one sold for six thousand dollars, six thousand dollars online recently. So this was graded a gem mint, and it wasn't graded. It was graded by the third popular grading company, which is called Beckett. So there are three, three major players in the grading circle. PSA is one, SGC is two, Beckett, who's been around forever, the Beckett Grading Company. They used to, uh, they did all the price guides back in the 70s and 80s. They were the, uh, the first to uh, produce a, an actual enhanced the price guide in our industry. So Beckett has gotten in for many years now into the grading uh, into the grading circle, and they're considered the top three, top third grading company in our industry. So this Shohei Otani, uh, Beckett graded 9.5, uh, which is considered gem mint in Beckett terms, uh, 2018 Topps Transcendent Rookie card made in Japan, once sold for six thousand dollars online another popular otani card uh to um, i mean if you have the funds to to invest in uh another popular otani card that recently sold is the 2018 tops chrome 
Another blue refractor. This is uh, 150 of these were made. This was card number 83, and this one recently sold online. 2018 Topps Chrome Shohei Otani blue refractor, card number 83 out of 150. Also graded uh, high grade gem mint by PSA rookie. This one sold for $3,600. It is amazing going through a list that I'm looking at here online. Um, how how these cards uh, fluctuate in what they sold for. It's really interesting to see from 3600 to 595 to uh, all the way to $25,000, which is really interesting to see. Um, so it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's all about how much you can afford. I mean, you can't go wrong with Otani, that's for sure. I mean, the guy is unbelievable, I don't have to tell you. But uh, here's another popular Otani card, a signed 2018 Topps Finest. This is 2018 Topps Finest number 100 rookie autograph card. And this one was graded as well from Beckett Authentic. And uh, from what i looking at a recent sale, this card was not graded as far as condition. It was graded as far as authenticity by Beckett. So Shohei Otani signed 2018, and the issue of the card or the brand make of the card is called a Topps Finest. Card, he was card number 100 Otani in this set. This is considered his rookie, also autographed. This card sold for $1,525, $1,525, 2018 Topps Finest number 100 rookie Autograph of Otani, another popular card uh, for Otani fans listening. Uh, here's another one. I'm going down through a list that I'm looking online at some of the uh, prices generated and sold for popular Otani cards. Here's another one. 2017 Bowman Chrome, another. This was another sale of the Mega Box Refractor. One did $1,835. 2017 Bowman Chrome Mega Box Refractor, another one sold for $1,835. Uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball Rookie Card, Gem Mint. Uh, this one sold number one in the set. This one sold for $930 and so on. So you have a bunch of uh, options to choose from that I just uh, mentioned. If you want to collect Otani cards and want to use it to your advantage as far as an investment, I'm just going through a list and see which other issues, card issues that I didn't mention. Uh, there's one that sold 2018 Tops. It's called Tops Clearly Authentic Rookie Card of Otani. This card was graded. Uh, card grade was a nine. Autograph card was a ten. So his autograph, the, the autograph, and this was done by Beckett. So Beckett gave the card shape the card grade a nine which was mint and beckett gave his, the autograph on the card a gem mint 10 so the signature was a gem mint this one sold for two thousand one hundred and four dollars and this one's called a 2018 tops clearly authentic rookie card of shohei otani two thousand one hundred and four dollars let's see some other otani cards uh 2018 tops chrome 2018 Topps Chrome. Uh, this was a green wave refractor. So this was a card that was graded PSA 10, gem mint. 99 were produced of these cards. This was his rookie card. This was card number 30 out of the 99 produced. One sold for $3,100. Again, 2018 Topps Chrome green wave refractor Shohei Otani card number 150 only 99 were made and this card had a number of 30 so this is the 30th card out of the 99 of them made graded gem mint sold for $3100 uh let's see anything else i didn't mention any other card issues i didn't mention on Otani that you can go for or look after that's very popular 2018 Topps Chrome this is a rookie prism prism refractor and this one is uh one sold for 22 Two, sorry, two hundred and twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. So that seems like the most uh, lesser expensive one out of the entire list. 
that I went through. 2018 Topps Chrome Shohei Otani Rookie Prism Refractor. That's the name of the card. So one sold for $222. So if you, and this one was not graded from what I noticed online. So, so if you go to her show and you listen to what I just mentioned and you are able to pick up a 2018 Topps Chrome Rookie Prism Refractor of Otani, of course, you want to pay less than $222.50 to profit uh, because one sold for in that price range. So that's another card to look for. And, and this card was ungrade, ungraded, which I would say that's why it only sold for a couple of hundred dollars. I mean, if you get this card graded, yes, there's a fee. But if that came back, if that card came back, let's say a gem mint, then you're talking about close to a thousand dollars for that car. So, so that's that's the that's the card game. That's the way it works uh, in this day and age. Um, another popular card of Otani, 2018 tops high tech. It's called Pyrotechnics Rookie Autograph PSA nine, which is mint, which is considered mint. His rookie MVP. Card sold for three thousand and fifty dollars. Again, I mentioned the issue because I didn't mention this issue before. This is a twenty eighteen Topps High Tech Shohei Otani card. The card is called Pyrotechnics. This is his rookie with his autograph. One sold for mint condition for three thousand and fifty dollars. So for those uh, listening to the program, uh, the guests didn't call in. Hopefully I'll have a a guest scheduled to come on uh, next week, uh, next Saturday. And also uh, please be sure to click on the landing page, my landing page this week, and check out my eBay, uh, click on the eBay link, and look at all the new items that I picked up at the fabulous Philly Convention Expo Center which they do a great job. Until next week, happy collecting to all.